Hi there, I'm Carolyn, trichologist at Absolute Hair Health Clinic. We're coming to you at the close of the year. Um, we're getting ready to shut down and uh, yeah, start a new year. So today we're gonna to talk about New Year's resolution and finding the cause of your hair loss. So the beginning of a new year is the perfect time to check in on your health, okay? When you've got uh, a cause of hair loss, it is generally something to do with your health. So why not use the beginning of a new year to really get down to the bottom of it? So as a trichologist, I can really help you find the cause of alopecia. So alopecia is a word that describes hair loss, but the question is, what type of hair loss is it? What is causing the hair loss? So what's the underlying cause? And you have to understand that to actually choose the correct hair loss treatment. So a lot of the time I find people years down the track and they've tried all sorts of treatments that didn't work because they're not addressing the underlying cause. So once you find the cause of your hair loss, you can also choose a natural hair loss treatment. Okay, so just say ferritin. Ferritin is the storage of iron. And when it's low, okay, it can cause hair loss. But in medical terms, a low is not a concern. Okay, so I come across people all the time that it's the low ferritin. It wouldn't be what we call deficient, but it's low enough to be causing the hair loss. And it also inhibits hair growth. So a natural hair loss treatment in that scenario would be looking at your blood tests, your iron studies and choosing the correct supplementation and then we support also with food so then we would use something like food for ferritin and teach you about the art of absorption because most people say but i'm eating healthy and when we really dive in it's the combination that you're using or food combining that's actually blocking your ferritin so we might also use supporting nutrition and we provide you with a food for ferritin guide so that's just one example of finding and then addressing the underlying cause so then we also have hair loss due to stress okay so this can also happen because of nutritional lows so stress on its own is not the cause of the hair loss but the ongoing stress can push on the tanks in the body. So again, we would use the new year to have some general blood tests and just check your nutritional levels. So things we're looking for here would be B12, vitamin B12 is our stress receptor, iron and ferritin again, vitamin D, magnesium. And a lot of the time I find people are supplementing, but they don't know their levels, they're not testing. So they don't know if it is actually working for them. Again, we're looking for the cause of the hair loss, let's find the cause. Another thing, sudden hair loss or excessive hair loss, it should not continue for more than three months, okay? So if it has continued for longer than three months, you've got to find the cause. It's your body trying to tell you something's wrong, okay? By the time the hair loss has happened, you've missed all the signs from your body. So again, it's where I come in as a trichologist, a hair specialist, a scalp specialist, and we might do a combination nutritional therapy based on the diagnosis of your blood test, your history, and we might use some natural topical treatments. And we are very clear to be natural because we're not gonna use anything harmful with alopecia because it's also got some autoimmune tendencies there as well. Okay, so for the new year, happy holidays. Think about it. Start the new year really finding the cause of your hair loss. So I'm here in Brisbane, but I can help you anywhere you are in the world with online services. So have a think about it, watch our other videos, enjoy, and then reach out to me. Okay, it's info at